Good afternoon, Lisa. I'm going to steal the sausages. Good afternoon, Andrew. <laughs> It's always meant to be Mr. Punch. It's always meant to be Mr. Punch. It's sort of sounded like words of garbage. <laughs> but I haven't got a swizzle in my mouth, have I? No. I can't do well, the voice. Neither did any of those, did apart from the proper Punch and Judy man. Are you being served the Punch and Judy affair? I just said to you at the end, how on earth do we do this one? Um, anyway, um, this is another Christmas special. Yes. Though there's no sign of it within no, the actual no, episode. There's no actual reference to Christmas at this all. Time, is there? I think they've run out of Christmas ideas. I think it's too they? much effort to put up like all the tinsel yeah. and everything, yeah. isn't it? Because uh, you get your store gets covered in tinsel. Well, it? it's as decorations up. Yeah. It's not tinsel as such. But... but we start with Captain Peacock signing in, mm -hmm. and Mr. Rumble arrives, and there's like sheets all over the. Yeah. The tops. And, and Captain the, Peacock's got a... He's, um, he's got a Bissell, hasn't he? A Bissell, he? a... Um, Hand-operated uh, yeah, carpet sweeper. Carpet sweeper, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, all the cleaners are on strike, yes. apparently. Yeah. Um, so the staff have agreed to come in and do some cleaning. Mm -hmm. So enter Alfie Bass mm -hmm. um, doing his best sort of Mr Harmon impression. Yes. With a yeah. brown coat on. Mm -hmm. And Mrs Slocum and Miss Brahms in sort of yellow... Sort of overall, overall things yeah, and headscarves to protect their hair. They go up to do the stairs. Mrs. Slocum's bending down to do mm -hmm. them, and Captain Peacock can see it, see her drawers, see her uh, bloomers. Yeah, because he's yeah. he's bistling, bistling behind her, yeah. isn't he? And she, he says he's a married man. He's seen it all before, but mm -hmm. she's doesn't. She says he hasn't seen this. So not at this time of the morning. No. Enter Mr. Humphreys in similar ladies. Gear, mm -hmm. complete, overall, with, complete yeah. with a pink headscarf. Yes. He's told to take it off, mm -hmm. revealing he's got his his air rollers in he's still, hasn't curlers, he? Curlers, yeah. Because yeah. 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 apparently his hair dryer blew a fuse. Uh -huh. yeah. You've got a new hair thing, I you? have. What is it? It's a, it's a hot straightening brush, it's all. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't really work properly. You were bistling with it this morning, were Bistling, you? yeah, I don't bistle. Uh, Mr Humphreys has got a feather duster mm -hmm. and he, he's sort of waving it about yes. and sort of doing pirouettes and stuff. Yeah, he's and told he... that he's here to clean and not to do Swan Lake. Yeah. Uh, Mr Lucas comes in late because mm -hmm. he had to cross the picket line mm -hmm. and he's got scab written on his shirt tail and lipstick, yes. isn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, when they're taking all the sheets off, they keep doing things like Olé and things like that. And, mm -hmm. uh, Mr Humphreys reveals a display model yes. with a very bad wig mm -hmm. and bare bosoms. Yes. So uh, he tries to cover cover them up with mm -hmm. bits of paper, doesn't he? Yeah, but they, they don't stick. They don't stick. Mm -hmm. So he goes and gets two bowler hats, which are like, for some reason, they're attached together by string. They are, yes. Is that he was attached bowler hats? I don't know. I don't know. Um, inside, in, in comes Mr Rumbold and mm -hmm. says whose idea was that and we're not here to fool around. Mm-hmm. Then enter Warwick and Mr. Harmon. Mm -hmm. I like the way that, the, that what they're bringing in makes a bit of a noise. And yeah. uh, um, Mr. Harmon just says, don't worry about the noise, mm -hmm. Warwick. Just covering it. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're actually acting as outside contractors on double pay at the yes. moment. Because they've yeah. uh, negotiated they were on strike, but yeah. And this is a, it's a bicycle with a figure on it mm -hmm. um, to display bikey briefs. Yes. Which are um, sort of long-lasting cycling mm -hmm. briefs, aren't they? Shorts. Shorts. Knickers things. Yeah. Yeah. And apparently they're guaranteed for 100,000 miles. Revolutions. Is it, was it revolutions yeah. or miles? 100,000 revolutions. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. Revolutions of what? Of the bicycle wheels. All right. I don't know. Okay. Um, but this display model apparently has got big legs, according to yes. Mrs Slocum. Um, the 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 new uh, the the saddles made out of um, sandpaper Sand, as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one day's worth of the bicycle apparently is from going here to Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't know why there specifically, but uh, <laughs> so they operate it and the wheels start to go round. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody on Twitter was was saying about yeah. this, saying this is this comes across really badly because yeah. of the way they've had to do the effect mm -hmm. because. Mr. Lucas notices there's a fifth gear, as he said, on the mm -hmm. control panel. Turns it up, and all the shots of the bicycle, mm -hmm. or anybody standing next to the bicycle, are all yeah. done with speeded up video. Mm -hmm. And you can tell, can't you? Because the picture yeah. quality goes it's weird. A bit, yeah. 
bit weird. Um, oh, and it's so quick that it's... Yeah, but there's some insert shots of people watching. Mm. Um, and th there's a dreadful explosion which doesn't look right because uh, Mr Lucas and Mr Harmon are stood next to it mm. when it's speeded up. So, yeah, it's all a bit... It's almost as though some, it looks as though maybe something didn't quite go right and they had to speed mm -hmm. it up or something yeah. to make, try and make it look funny. I really don't know. But, uh, maybe the explosion was a bit weedy or something. Maybe. Like that. I mean, yeah. it just sort of went poo. <laughs> so <laughs> they, I don't know. Um, but later on in Mr. Rumbold's office, the strike has been settled, mm -hmm. although the arbitrators themselves were out on strike. Yes. Um, there's bad blood about crossing the picket line, though. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Miss, young Mr Grace wants them to restore the festive festive? Uh, restore the happy family atmosphere Yes. maybe do a, a children's party for offspring of the staff mm -hmm. that's sort of grasping at straws isn't a little it? bit yes Yeah. yeah. Uh, you get the feeling that they'd sort of written the second half of the episode yeah, and, then and had to write, had to write up to it in, mm. in sort of, you can almost hear the gears crunching as mm -hmm. we sort of arrive at this point um, but um yeah, they uh, they should give a party, mm -hmm. um, and uh, apparently the the members of the sort of ladies and gents are extremely versatile, mm -hmm. which is true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, says so Mr. Harmon though. Yeah. Um, so there's talk about oranges and lemons and peel, pin the tail on the donkey or <laughs> pin the tail on the monkey is ears on the monkey ears on the monkey yeah. as Mr. Lucas says, but they're after frolic and entertainment. Mm -hmm. Um. Surely the, the sort of nobody can be in the mood now because everything's settled. But in comes the a, a, a tea lady, Ivy, mm -hmm. six teas, and she just chucks them all over Mr. Rumble. Yes. So uh, yeah, they're all in a, they're still all in a bit of a mood. Mm -hmm. As is demonstrated next in the canteen. Oh yes. Um, when everybody gets there, what they've ordered, like Mrs. Slocum, um, does she? No, no, it's um. Miss Brahms as a, a head of a herring, doesn't mm -hmm. she? And the um, canty lady's just generally just chucking it on the. Yes. Well, she's never the most pleasant of people no, but anyway. She's even in more of a mood. Yeah. Spaghetti bollock nazy, mm -hmm. as she just about gets away with saying. Um, was it shepherd's pie and chips and peas. Mm -hmm. And the, like, the peas don't last on the plate, do no. they? A minute or a minute steak. Mm -hmm. um, rissoles and a pasty. And the rissoles and the pasty are the wrong way round. They're for Captain Peacock and Mrs Slocum, and she mm -hmm. just like picks them up and puts them on the right plate. Mm -hmm. um, Mr Humphreys can't, can't get the sauce out of the bottle. Why does he want sauce on spaghetti bolognese? I don't know. But yeah, and she just spams all of it all yeah. over in the whole mm -hmm. bottle, basically. Um, so yeah, so it's got to be a good party to like deal mm -hmm. with all this. Um, there's the suggestion that maybe they, they could do blind man's buff at Beachy Head and perhaps push her off. Yes. Them. Mrs Slocum went, last went to a party when she was aged five, mm -hmm. a kid's party. Was that for the relief of mafficking? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, they, they don't... Kids these days don't want blancmange, according mm. to uh, Alfie Bass. They want savour, savouries and smoked salmon. Yes. I don't think I ever had smoked salmon at kids' parties. No, yeah. you wouldn't like it, I think, would you? I don't know. Um, but, yeah, Mr Humphreys likes stories about fairies, apparently. Mm -hmm. um, and he also liked Jack and the Beanstalk. Mm -hmm. And he, he once chucked some baked beans out of the window. Mm -hmm. And and uh, next day there was a telegraph pole there. Yes. So he climbed it in his pyjamas and mm -hmm. got acquainted with a man in a peaked cat and some wire cutters. Yeah, if if they did do fairy stories, perhaps they could do Ali Baba or something. Was that something to do with a cobbler? Well, there were forty of them, so mm. it was a lot of cobblers. <laughs> uh, and they had to hide in the pots and uh, die with boiling oil or something. But yes. Do you really know Ali Baba? Uh, really there is something about boiling oil, I think. Yeah. yeah. Or Little Red Riding Hood, and then Captain mm. Peacock starts to relate the whole story. Yeah. Um, or maybe Mother Goose. Mm -hmm. And this is this is quite a nice sort of weird fictional crossover as mm. Alfie Bass goes on about the golden eggs. Yes. And yes. why should Alfie Bass Cause he's know the about giant this? in in the um, goodies and the beanstalk, which yeah. is the golden egg gooses that are yeah. like dive bombing them. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, maybe they could do something like with clowns or conjurers or Punch mm -hmm. and Judy. Um, 
but Punch and Judy would cost money. Mm. And then they just, out of the blue, they come up with the idea of doing it as life-size. Yes. Well, Mr Humphreys yeah. does, doesn't he? Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, and if they can't, they, they need a dog, Toby, mm-hmm. or Mrs Slocum's pussy, neither <laughs> of which actually turn no. up in the end. No. Well, you don't always use Toby the dog these days, yeah. I don't think. So. And there's something about Captain Peacock having ferrets down his trousers. Yes. Um caused by Miss Fennel who was banned for three days or something. No, he was banned for three days oh, and Miss right. Fennel was moved to Novelty Candles. Oh, right, okay. So she wouldn't get up to mischief but okay. she did. All right. So if they rehearse Thursday evening mm. they, uh, they could sort something out. Uh, young Mr Grace wants to come in and wants to know whether they're still being victimised. Mm-hmm. And the lunch is the same as usual so clearly they are. <laughs> I quite like that line. Um, young, young Mr Grace has been uh, talking about levitation with his nurse. Yes. <laughs> this is, this is, you know, this is almost like a single entendre. And she says mm. that um, if so, you see something rising without any visible means of support, it's mm. all in the mind. <laughs> Dear me. And he also does an amateur ventriloquist thing with his with his secretary. She yes. has to sit on his knee and um, she, he has to, like, find the string or something yeah I, yeah he showed her how he found the strings and got his hand caught in her bra strap <laughs> sounds way. like an excuse to me <laughs> but yeah and that that's almost the last we see of um the secretary isn't it yes. apart from a Get very little cameo one more bit little bit at, at the yeah. end but yeah this is very much an episode for people leaving isn't yes. it yes um but anyway um but young Mr Grey says he must get back to it and you've all done very well. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, so Mr Harmon's um, getting the Punch and Judy apparate, apparatus sorted. Mm-hmm. Um, although he doesn't like being ordered about by Captain Peacock. No. He, he says, uh, mm-hmm. Queen Victoria's dead, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some footage of Queen Victoria's has turned up, hasn't it? Has. It has. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's been in the New York Museum of Art. Yeah. But yeah, it's just been... We well, discovered. We're meant to be around the archive, so mm. you know you did Queen Victoria's last I did. last episode. So. Yes, for this month. Um, but yeah, um, Captain Peacock should make a request, mm-hmm. uh, ha- I, either with a smile or a gratuity, and he yes. op- opts with a smile. I like the line: um, "Your your lips are going to be in a sling for the rest of the week." Yes. Um, mm-hmm. But Rumbold comes in and s- says Harmon shouldn't be on the floor, mm. and Harmon says he keeps telling him Stephen. Then uh, later on, the stage has been set up, mm-hmm. and it's a fairly big affair, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. well, it's got to be, isn't it? Because yeah, it's got, got to, to fit all the men. Yeah. So. And enter Mister Humphreys in. Mm-hmm. In a, he's got his. Is it a jumper? It's, it's a not, sort of pullover with no yeah. arms. Yeah, like a, and it says W C on the front yeah. and Humphreys on the back. Yes, and it's got sort of patterns and yeah, things. Somebody's on got it. their knitting machine out, yeah. I think. They're very popular in the early 80s, knitting machines. We, should, we haven't said about Mrs Slocum's hair, have No, we? it's, it's sort of very... Purpley, pink. pinky, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Mr Rumble's got a, pia- got a piano that gets lugged on. Yes. And uh, yeah. he, 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 he wastes... He, he, every opportunity he gets, he starts to play music, doesn't he? Because mm-hmm. it's the only thing he's got to do. Mr Humphrey starts giving a potted thing about Punch and Judy. Yes. And he, he's claiming it's from 11th century Italy. Yes. And we looked it up. Yeah, that's, it's about that's a little century, early. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. But pun- Punch is always in trouble. Yes. So that could be Mr Lucas. Mm-hmm. Um, Judy's a young, innocent waif. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, Mrs Slocum would be sort of uh, incredibil- incredibility if she played the part. Um, mm. So, got to be married to Mr Punch. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, um, it's in madly in love with him, so mm-hmm. that, that's Miss Brahm, so she doesn't want to have to kiss him. No. Uh, there's a butcher, which is rapidly assigned to Mr Goldberg. Mm-hmm. He's got to wave his sausages about. And Captain Peacock has originally been down for the devil, the hangman, and the policeman. I don't know how he's going to like change costumes so quickly. No. Because, yeah. um, well, as we find out, the policeman and the devil are in quite close together scenes, aren't mm-hmm. they? But, um, and he's meant to be, f- he's got all these parts because he's going to frighten children. But Mrs. Slocum sort of nabs the role of policewoman for mm-hmm. herself. And I just wrote, What fell over? Yes. Because there's a sound of summit falling, falling over. over in the background, yes. Yeah, I don't know mm. what it is. Um, so, yeah, um, they got to do all the funny voices themselves. And uh, 
Mr. Humphreys will tell them the story and they just have to improvise because mm-hmm. they haven't actually got any scripts. So Miss Brahms gets a, apparently gets a trident up her arse or something, doesn't yes. she? As uh, she comes out and mm-hmm. uh, Captain Peacock's got his trident in his hand. Um, I, do, I do like Mr Lucas as, as Punch, though. Mm. He's doing it very well. He's making the most of the opportunity because obviously Trevor Bannister by this point is not getting as much to do, is right. he? Because the, the, the emphasis has moved to Mr... Uh, Humphreys, so he's taking this opportunity to be centre stage. So he's got a little costume on his shoulders, yeah. isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Um, he's got a funny nose, got yeah. a hat, and a chin, and a chin, yeah. and he's got little legs as well. Yes. That you see later on, his little dangles of over the edge like this. <laughs> and he comes on and he starts going, "Now we just a winter of our discontent." And mm. then he's got a hump as well, hasn't he? He has. Well, Mr. I think Mr. Punch does have a hump, yeah. doesn't he? So. But then he starts doing jaws. He yes. sort of bends down and you just see the hump <laughs> just going... Go, hang on. That's the best I can do. I haven't got okay. a hump. Okay. Uh, okay. And then, yeah, you see his silly legs. Mm. Yeah. Um, and he keeps on doing stuff with his head as well, yeah. like he's Basil Brush or yes. something, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mr. Rumble plays some music and is told mm-hmm. not yet. Uh, mm-hmm. Mrs. Slocum comes on as the policewoman. She's mm-hmm. got her red nose on because yeah. she says she's a funny policeman. Mm-hmm. It sounds a bit like um, a, a Heidi High, funny mm-hmm. policeman. Yeah. And she, they're told they're making a mockery of it, but she sort of every chance she gets, she bashes Mr. Lucas with yeah. her truncheon. Um, he's really floppy as well as the truncheon. Is it? When he's right. hit, she's hitting him, it's flopping all over the place. But they say, about, have you ever seen a policeman wearing lipstick? And mm. Mr. Humphreys has, though that was uh, on another occasion. Yeah, different situation. Yeah. Um, page seven. Uh, Miss Brahms couldn't get get a baby, mm. so she's got a chimpanzee in a sort of baby's. Yes. Or what, what costume is it? It's a sort of little hat and hat dress and type thing. gown thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So where she's got a baby from being an innocent young girl, yes. nobody's prepared to say. Mm-hmm. More music. Not yet. <laughs> that was monkey music, says Mr. H- Mr. Rumble proudly. He said, no, he said, Mr. Rumble says not yet. Mr. Humphrey says not ever. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. But he says that was monkey music. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, what's that? Gobby Judy. Oh, goodbye, Judy. He goes, <laughs> he goes, goes off to get the sausages. Yes. And they have to kiss and their noses yes. bash. Yes. Don't they? they have to take their noses off. But he's got no money. Oh, I've got no money. I've got no money. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. You do it. I can't do it yeah. either. Um, but uh, on, on comes the devil. Um, mm. Mr Punch, you should steal the sausages. Yes. <laughs> you shouldn't do it like that. You're supposed to be evil. Mm. So he does this thing about the world is divided into haves and haves and not have nots. Mm. Um, if he steals the sausages, it'll be a have. Mm. Uh, the policeman starts bashing the devil, um, and he's strolling about the the, the street. Mm. Uh, more music, not yet. Um, he does a load of business crossing his legs as well. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Mm. Mr. Lucas does. Um, then he goes to the butchers. Mm-hmm. What do you want? Sausages. Sausages, mm. and that's the dog from from, uh, that's, life, from yeah. that's life, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Get in the queue. There's no queue. What you're saying? I'm running an unsuccessful shop. So yet again, yeah. people are like really overinvested yes, in, their, in characters. their characters. Yeah, yeah. And that is really a, a thing that you give to actors to do. It's not yeah. a thing that normal people would no mm. would even think about. Mm-hmm. But, uh, then there's a whole load of like pulling on the sausages to yeah. get to get, get, get them. The policeman comes in to bash him again, but mm-hmm. she's not supposed to see him at this point. There's, no. a, there's a burglar on the town hall that's yes. meant to grab her attention or mm. something like that. Um, uh, Mr Humphrey is getting quite frustrated by he this is. point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but he, he's got to let go of the sausages, otherwise you can't steal them. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah... Um, Mr Goldberg gets carried away with the role mm-hmm. and uh only what? Mickle brain? <laughs> no idea what that <laughs> says. Oh only make believe. <laughs> only only mickle brain. <laughs> I don't know what a mickle brain is. 
But yeah, Miss Humphreys gets really upset, yes. and uh, Mr. Rumbold sympathises with him, mm. doesn't he? And he uh, sort of puts his arm around him, yeah. and then he blow, uh, blows his nose on his hanky. Um, so yeah, um, and it just sort of it just sort of descends into general mayhem at this yes. point as everybody starts sort of behaving badly, behaving badly, and mm. arguing, and it's sort of a, sort of a rave up, and then. The curtains just sort of come together, don't they? Mm. And then we cut to a very, very, very gratuitous song and dance routine. Yes. Oh, so first of all, we cut to a real Punch and Judy. Oh yeah, we do real get a real, punch. yeah, real, real Punch and Judy. Mm. But there's a song and dance routine with everybody dressed up as kids. Yes. So it's the nurse and the secretary and mm-hmm. sort of school girly things. Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, Mrs. Slocum. As a little girl, a, yeah. like Alice, you know, it's, it's like Alice, the little girl she plays yeah. in the in so the ballet. Is, so, is, so is Miss Brown. Miss Brown's is dressed as as Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Um, yeah. What was it Mr. Harmon? Yeah. He's like he's what? one of the Bisto kids. Is he a Bisto yeah. kid? Oh, yeah, is that what it is? Right. Well, that's why he does the sniffing he's got, thing. He's got a sort of braces and yeah. a hat, and he does it? the sniffing thing, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh that's what he's doing. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, Alfie Bass. Yes. Is some sort of punk. He is. Are they mm-hmm. like with like he's got like. T-shirt, you think he's got, mm. like, has he got safety pin yeah. or something like in, that? in the T-shirt, not in his nose yeah. or anything. So. Um, what, what's, what's, what's um, Mr. Lucas? Mr. He's, Lucas he's sort of, is like a sort of, sort of schoolboy, isn't he? Well, just William, just isn't William, he? Like yeah. Picking yeah. his nose yeah. and, and, Mr. and stuff. Mr. Rumbold's a schoolboy, isn't with, he? Uh, with an orange mm. sort of jacket and a yeah. cap, and he's, like, rubbing his tummy as yeah. though he's, like, Billy Bunter or yeah. something. Yeah. And then enter... <laughs> Lord, Mr. Humphreys. In, oh, and Miss, uh, Captain what? Peacock. What was Captain, Captain Peacock? Peacock's like a little sailor, isn't oh, he? Oh, Captain Peacock's like, yeah, little sailor boy blue or something, yeah. isn't he? <laughs> and then Mr. Humphreys yeah. is. Like little old Fauntleroy. Fauntleroy. He's got a, like bubbles, hasn't yeah. he? He's got a, and he's got a sort of sparkly blue top on and a, and a blonde curly wig. Blonde curly wig, as yeah. though he's like sort of Harpo Marx yeah. or something like that. And I just said, who are they doing this for? Yeah. Because there's no sign of these kids that no. are supposedly at this party. So it's clearly being done for the studio yeah. audience again, mm-hmm. who frankly are really enjoying it. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And for the end credits, we just mm-hmm. get everybody sort of appearing on, on, on the stage set thing, don't yeah. they? Mm-hmm. As their names come up. Mm-hmm. Um, still in the Punch and Judy costume again. Yes. So mm-hmm. they miraculously change back again. Yes. yes. <laughs> don't and, then, and then that's it for... Alfie Bass also mm. and also Trevor Bannister. Yes. So Yes. As and as the same person that pointed out about the bicycle has also pointed out that in the next episode, um, Is It Catching? Mm. that no reference is made to Mr Lucas yeah. being gone. He's just well, gone. Yeah. Well we'll say that say about that when yeah. we but, when we get there. Mm. But this is Christmas seventy nine and the next mm. season's not till spring eighty one. Yeah. So there mm. there is There's a bit of a gap. A bit of a gap here. Mm-hmm. But I just wrote the audience seemed very happy with it. Yes. <laughs> Which I mean yeah, the 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 I, I like the, the Mr Punch stuff from mm. from um from Mr. Lucas, it, that is, that is actually quite in front, and and yeah, as you said, he's 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 taking the opportunity to mm. do as much business as he, he, as he is, can. Yeah. He's, be, he's a proper actor thing of doing stuff all of the time. Yeah, with the so you're so given. he's very worth watching in, in, yeah. in you know in what is a fairly thankless task. Yes. I think I think it is really, mm. but yeah, I mean, as Christmas episodes go, no no Christmas. No. Christmas doesn't even enter the building, no, does it? it doesn't. No. <laughs> but I think for something that you'd watch, you know, um, maybe, you know, after having a few a few drinkies, mm-hmm. um, I, I think people probably enjoyed that. Yes. Um, yeah. I wonder whether they wrote this Punch and Judy thing because they've got the Punch and Judy man for Heidi High at this point, David Crawl. Oh, have they? Well, because Heidi High starts in 79, it starts around 78, doesn't it? No, no, Heidi Eye. Well, it's later than that, isn't no, it? Heidi Eye is a bit later than uh, that. Yeah. Well, perhaps they'd already the, started the to do episode, it. There's the pilot episode, but well, then, then, then the, the first season. But then they've still got the Punch and Judy Man, so it's like they're using the resources they've got for Heidi Eye. We'll check the dates on that. Yeah. Yeah. But perhaps that's why there's such a big gap between this one and the next series. Well, that's true, Cause setting cause up Heidi Eye. Setting yeah. up Heidi Eye. Yeah, well, maybe. That's yes. a good point, actually. Yes. Yeah. And I really did not like Punch and Judy when I was a child. Did you not? No. Did you ever have them at parties? No, not parties, only. Probably ever at the seaside. Oh, right, okay. yes. And having read um, 
Ben Aronovich is excellent with the London book. Yeah. I, I like Mr. Punch even less. Now. Okay. That's what I'm going to say okay. with the book. But you might have preferred him if he was Trevor Bannister. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, say to Rather. Yeah. You? See you in 1981. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.